Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to uh, Ruskin webinar. Uh, my name is Peter Bleha. I'm the product marketing manager for architectural products here at Ruskin. And today we're going to be talking about some of the new product offerings uh, through Louvers here at Ruskin. Uh, we're also going to mix in a few slides that I think are going to be helpful, especially for those of you that are not as familiar with, uh, with Louvers. Uh, some suggestions and some guidance on what types of things you uh, you want to look for when it comes to uh, Louvre's performance. And then at the, we're going to finish it up by talking about some of the resources that Ruskin has available and uh, talk about some other exciting things that are on the horizon. So uh, so let's get started. So that's me there. Um, I've been with uh, Ruskin now for uh, about a year, a little over a year actually. My background is in HVAC. I've been in the in the uh, in the industry for about 20 years. And I'm really happy to be uh, working for uh, Ruskin. It's an exciting company. Um, we've seen a level of product development that uh, that we haven't seen in uh, in recent years. And there's a lot of excitement here on developing new products that have uh, tremendous benefits and in some cases have advantages that competitors do not have. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk first about uh, a little bit about the uh, um, some of the things that uh, that are important when it comes to uh, louvers and selecting louvers for uh, for your job. Joining me also is uh, Warren Thomas. Warren is the sales application engineer for the louver sales department. Warren, say hello. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Warren Thomas. I've been with Ruskin for about 14 years, and we'll, I'll help uh, be assisting here, Peter, with your presentation today. Yeah. We'll just go over the agenda here. So we'll talk about Ruskin's commitment. Um, we're also going to talk about performance louvers, uh, AMCA tested, and the importance of uh, recognizing uh, uh, the AMCA, uh, the seal on the louver, the CRP marking, and what that means. We'll also talk about some of the uh, additions to our Texas Department of Insurance uh, louver line that we've added recently. We'll also get into the best part of the presentation, in my opinion, that's talking about new products that we uh, are recently launching. You're going to see a brand new product that we are about to launch. And then we're going to talk about some of the tools and resources available through Ruskin and then finish up with a summary. But first, what I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, poll the audience here. Um, we do uh, webinars throughout the year. Um, they're done on the second uh, Tuesday of, of every month. And the question is, uh, we have this webinar set up for louvers, and then we have one coming up for sunshades, and I believe that's in uh, October. So my question to you is, what is your interest in seeing Ruskin set up more webinars on louvers? And your choices are going to be more very interested, somewhat interested, not very interested. What we can do is there's so many different, although, although louvers are somewhat simplistic, I mean, you're talking about the jams, the head, the sill, and then the blades in between, there's different aspects that we can go over with you. We can talk about uh, the importance of the Florida louvers, that's Miami-Dade. Uh, Florida building code. We can talk about specialized louvers such as blast louvers and snow louvers. We can talk more about um, you know the sizing of louvers, you know how to select louvers. Uh, those of you that are interested in learning how to use Edge, uh, which is our louver selection uh, program, uh, we can do a webinar of that as well. As a matter of fact, I think that's something that would be very valuable because it saves time um, allowing uh, reps to uh, to quote uh, quote projects directly rather than uh, ask for assistance. So um, looks like we're getting some feedback on this already and uh, looks like it's overwhelming that uh, there's a lot of interest on uh, on doing other uh, webinars for louvers. So I'm going to start uh, putting on my thinking cap and and uh, putting together some programs and talking with the marketing people and getting that set up for you. So let's talk about uh, accreditation and quality for louvers. Uh, products backed by industry accreditation and unrivaled quality. Um, one of the things I'd like to point out is that Ruskin recently changed its warranty and and went to uh, went to a new warranty that's five years across the board with uh, all products. We started this a few months back, and we're really excited about this because it is it is the best warranty in the industry. And it's it's bumper to bumper, so it's it's not just the louvers, but it's the dampers, it's the uh, it's the air handlers, it's all of Ruskin products. So uh, I know that uh, I know that this has been announced, but I just wanted to reiterate that that we do have uh, the best warranty in the end. One of the things that I always suggest when I when I speak to uh, uh, 
uh, people about louvers is that you really have to understand the, the performance of the louvers. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over to Warren and he's going to talk a little bit about the importance of uh, AMCA, the Air Movement Control Association, and, uh, and recognizing the CRP markings on submittal sheets and uh, the importance of validating a louver's performance. Warren? So, uh, thank you guys again for showing up and for our presentation here. Um, all these things that you're seeing listed on your screen here are part of AMCA. You have free area pressure drop, you have different forms of water penetration, whether it be wind-driven rain or just a still air test. A um, little bit lesser known is, you know, sound acoustic, uh, sound in the, in the acoustical products. And also, um, there's also sand, a lot of sand issues here, which is now a newer uh, performance. It used to be, it went from a old ASTM standards to actually being a full-on AMCA test. And also we do test. It is a damper test for leakage, but those tests do get applied to Ruskin or get, get provided to regular products uh, for the louver products if you want to try to get away with using a louver instead of having a louver and a damper. So we do have operable louvers that are able to be able to perform that. Now, what's very important here is when you look at the performance of these louvers, you can look at all these seals in the middle of this presentation where it says air performance, water, uh, wind-driven rain, sound. Those product seals are required to be on the product data sheets. A, some, of what, some less scrupulous competitors will say that they are AMCA members. They are tested to AMCA um, standards but the data on there does not actually physically have a seal on it. So when you look here at our products here, AMCA's website has all the products. You can see two right there. You can see where Ruskin Company, right there where it's circled. You can go into Ruskin Company via the louvers and take a look at every single Ruskin product. You can go into Ruskin Company on the website, and it will have every single louver that is certified anywhere from the ELF 375DX to the XP500 FEMA grill. We'll have our wind driven rain, any type of applicable AMCA information will be verified here on the website. So whatever we have on our website will be on here on the AMCA's website. I know everybody gets their information from Ruskin's site, but this is a way to verify that the information is in both places. So when it comes to the, uh, uh, the testing standards for louvers, um, AMCA is also a great resource for that. As a matter of fact, AMCA has a series of white papers. Um, myself and uh, my boss, who is the director of the architectural products, Jim Smarto, are both on the, um, the marketing task force for AMCA, along with other members from other companies. And we work together to develop these white papers to help to help better understand um, louver products, better understand the louver standards, such things as Miami-Dade, Florida Building Code, et cetera. So um, you know, it, one of the things that was, one of the white papers that was recently published by AMCA is the, uh, is the better understanding of the 500L test. And those were the, the various tests that you saw uh, two slides ago. It kind of explains the protocols that go into that test to help understand what goes into the testing of a louver. So um, you can access this also on the AMCA website. Uh, on the screen right now is, uh, is the direct link uh, if you want to uh, copy that down. Um, I was the author of this, uh, of this document, or the main, doc, the main author, rather. I did have some assistance from my, uh, from my colleagues on the uh, Marketing Louver Task Force. But this paper is, is something that's going to help you to better understand the, uh, the testing standards and, uh, and what goes into the testing of louvers per AMCA. There's something else that I'd like to share with you also. Uh, back in, I think it was February, uh, we added uh, several new models, five new models to be exact, uh, to our uh, TDI approved louvers. We had three uh, initially and we added five. So, so this is kind of exciting. For those of you that are not aware of TDI, TDI is a Texas Department of Insurance and it's a nonprofit organization that uh, certifies products uh, for the state of Texas. It's going, to, uh, it's going to really be specific for Texas and it applies uh, mostly towards the impact resistance uh, for, uh, for louver. So this is exciting and we plan on expanding this list even further for, uh, for all you Texans out there. So now we're going to talk about uh, Ruskin products, and uh, and this is where you know this is the most exciting part of the presentation for me, being the product marketing manager. Um, I'm uh, directly involved in the uh, selection and the uh, and the design 
of, uh, of the uh, Louvre products here at Ruskin. And we're seeing, uh, we're seeing a renaissance here at Ruskin where we're really starting to uh, uh, develop products that are meaningful and products that have advantages that are going to be beneficial to you. So the first product I'd like to talk about is the, uh, the EME 720. So this is a 7-inch wind-driven rain louver that has a recessed mullion in the back. And the benefit of that is that when you bank the louvers side by side, um, you can have that continuous sight line. You're not going to have the uh, you're not going to have the mullion uh, interrupt the side line. So it makes for a very architecturally pleasing uh, appearance uh, for if this when this louver is used in a in a building. Uh, one of the notable things about this louver is the is the free area. We have an industry leading 56% free area in this louver, which is fantastic. Uh, we also have AMCA uh, Class A wind-driven rain performance as well. So what I like about this particular louver is it, it gives you really the best of both worlds here, where it gives you an architecturally pleasing louver uh, that's going to be fantastic for, uh, for, for the visual sense, but it's also going to give you the performance and the fact that it has 56% 56 56 free area and that Class A wind-driven rain performance per AMCA. So this product here is actually pretty uh, near and dear to my heart because it really started off as the EME 3625. Um, we were talking one day that its performance gets pretty close to the EME 6625 and the 6625D. And we looked at AMCA and we go, well, why don't we test it and see what happens? So we actually tested it for AMCA 550 water performance and it was very able to meet that water performance without even, you know, shrugging anything. So it was able to meet it. So we got AMCA 550. That's the EME 3625 with no value added. So we were able to sell that product and be able to go for anywhere along the Gulf Coast, the coast going up all the way up to Maine. Well, the next step was how do we make this both wind-driven rain performance in AMCA 550 and translate it to AMCA 540, which is the impact segment. So as far as the louver goes, we still have all the same performance that we do for the 3625. We have that in the DFL, the ME 3625 DFL. I guess your AMCA Class A performance in both the 50 mile an hour and the 29 miles an hour. It's going to be um, for the building code 2014, and it's going to be AMCA 540. Now, make sure if you have to have 540 that you're going from the ME 3625 to the 3625 DFL. The only difference between the products is the welding. There is substantially more work that has to go into the product to move it on from one product to another. But you get all the performance, the 6625, the 6625D as far as water, but you get that thin line three inches deep product versus the six of the others. So this makes for a very quality product to have and be able to have for your applications. One thing I'd like to add, too, in regards to the uh, EME 3625 DFL is that Ruskin is the only manufacturer that has a 3-inch louver that passes both AMCA 540 and 550 listings. So, again, that's, that's one of the things I really want to hit home during this webinar is that we are not just developing uh, louvers to, to, to match the competitors. What we're doing is we're, we're focused on developing louvers that exceed expectations. And, and to push the envelope and we're doing a lot of testing and we're trying different things with blades because we know in order to stay ahead in the market and be and to be the market leader we need to innovate so this is an ad that is currently appearing in engineered systems uh, and it'll also appear in the AMCA magazine in September as well so I had a lot of input in this ad and uh, the, the goal in this I wanted to share this with the with the audience uh, the goal in this is we really wanted to come up with an ad that that was more or less it, it was it was a page stopper. I mean, if you if you if you page through trade magazines, you know a lot of the ads look the same, don't they? They look like engineering rooms. They look like rooftops. What we tried to go for here is we tried to go for something that's kind of fun, uh, something that kind of hits home the the fact that you know we have the smallest solution versus the toughest conditions. I know some people might look at this ad and say, you know, I wouldn't want to be that kayaker, but, you know, the, uh, the, the point being is that this kind of this movie poster style ad is, is meant to, to, to stop one from, from turning the page and then read about the product. And once they read about the product and the benefits and the fact that it is the only three-inch louver in the market, 
that pass that's AMCA 540 and 550 listed, that's the hook. That's what really brings you in. So again, if you uh, receive engineered systems or uh, receive AMCA magazine, um, it is in the current issue of engineered systems along with a nice write-up about the EME 3625 DFL and it'll be in the uh, AMCA magazine this September. Okay, this is the EME, this is the EME 520V. Uh, you've, pretty much all of you have actually seen this before. It really is the EME 520DD. The blades have been turned 90 degrees. That's all it is. Now, how we got here was we had a project, and the, the architect wanted something just a little bit different, and then we just had a brainstorm. Sometimes these small, quick brainstorms as you know what, necessity is the mother of invention, we came up with this new product. We rotated the blades 90 degrees and now have a vertical 5-inch deep wind-driven rain louver. It's going to get Class A performance at 29 miles per hour and 59 or 50 miles per hour. Also, it is not quite going to get the same free area as the EME 520DD, which is at 47%, because it's, this one's going to get 43%. The difference on that on that performance is that because of the sill and the way it was designed that we need to put a water stop behind there. Literally this product is just turned 90 degrees. It gets wonderful performance, very unexpected performance. So this is a really good product for you to use in your applications on when you're going from six versus three, we now have a five inch deep product. Yeah. One thing I'd like to add to uh, what Warren uh, said is that uh, we're in the process of loading this up in Edge for those of you that are reps and uh, would like to order this product. It should be available uh, sometime next week, but we want to give you a sneak peek at it. And again, the uh, the innovation is not just coming up with new ideas, but it's taking uh, products that we currently have and, and rethinking them. And uh, I got to give most of the credit to this product to Jim Smarto, my boss, because his, his idea of taking the uh, EME 520 D&D, &D, turning it on its side and then testing it um, was the was really the start of this project. And the as Warren mentioned, the, the wind-driven rain performance at both 29 and 50 miles an hour was so incredible that uh, we knew we had something special here. I said necessity is the mother of invention. It was because an architect did not like a specific, or specific item, so we did this. What's important there is if you guys come up with information or have a need, we very much would like to fill it for you. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about some of the uh, tools and resources that uh, are available for from Ruskin. So the first thing I want to talk about a little bit is Ruskin.com. So We've given it a little bit of a fresh, a refresh, and as you can see, not only do we have uh, access to information about our products, such as such as submittal sheets, but we're also uh, doing product announcements on here. Many of you have uh, signed up uh, for this webinar through Ruskin.com. This is this is something that is constantly being uh, constantly evolving, and and I want to give a good shout out to uh, to Gary Bryant, uh, and uh, he's our uh, our marketing. Uh, uh, video marketing expert, and uh, he's over in uh, jolly old England. He's listening in over there. It's probably pretty late at night, but uh, Gary is uh, is the guy that's instrumental in in updating this uh, this website and uh, and coming up with new ideas for it. So um, again, it's it's a great tool and a great resource to uh, to learn more about Ruskin products. The second thing I wanted to point out to you all is uh, is Ruskin Leads. So Ruskin Leads is our uh, is our uh, selection tool that is available through Ruskin.com. And what it does is it allows you to select the, uh, the right louver for your, for your particular performance needs. So we, we can obviously do uh, a webinar on that alone. As a matter of fact, that's something I've been kind of tooling in my head. And, and Warren has done this in, in the past as well. So we definitely want to, uh, to make, uh, you know, if, if there's interest in doing a, uh, uh, a leads webinar on how to use leads to select the right lure for your application. Um, this is something we definitely want to be able to provide to you. Uh, third, and this is going to be more for Ruskin customers, uh, is VIPNet. VIPNet is a great tool. Uh, it's going to be used to uh, track your shipments and and uh, and know the uh, status of your shipments. It also has a lot of other information that's not available. Uh, readily through Ruskin.com. So 
uh, Warren could speak a little bit more about VIP Net. So VIP Net, like you said, you can find out, track out where your order is. Is it in engineering, sales, production? Um, you can go through and look for the information for your invoices. This is for customers. But you can also now, an additional tool with our new VIP Net is that you can actually do your change orders via the website. In fact, I just did one today for the first time. So you can do it. You don't necessarily have to contact customer service anymore. You can go ahead and submit that change order through the VIP net. So it's a really good item to have. And then for those of you that are Ruskin customers, um, we also have Edge. Edge is our uh, uh, tool used to place orders uh, for products through Ruskin. So, uh, those of you, especially on the engineering side, are probably very familiar with Edge. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's something that we can definitely give you training for. As a matter of fact, uh, we just uh, completed, uh, or rather, uh, one of our associates, uh, Tiffany Wright, uh, who uh, works in our department. She did a fantastic job on creating a PowerPoint that we'll probably end up using for a uh, future webinar. And last but not least, uh, social media. Uh, Ruskin is very, very big on social media, and uh, and as individuals here at Ruskin, we're we're all big on social media as well. Uh, any of you that are connected to me through LinkedIn know that uh, that I'm constantly uh, promoting the company and new products and and our customers as well. Uh, uh, Tom Edwards, who's you know who's been here for 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 a long, long time and has laid a lot of the groundwork for us here at Ruskin. You know, he's he's a big proponent of of using social media as well. Uh, Gary Bryant, again, shout out to Gary. Um, he manages that uh, process for us and he not only uh, posts on uh, uh, social media sites such as LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, but he's also involved in uh, developing some of the uh, the videos that uh, that we're, uh, we're we're producing for YouTube, and I got to tell you that some of these YouTube videos that Ruskin's been has been releasing lately are Hollywood quality. I mean, they're they're fantastic. Uh, the animations are great. Um, we have uh, we have a great staff that uh, that works on these. And uh, again, social media. I just want to emphasize that it's something that I think that. That, uh, that is a great way to communicate what's new and upcoming here at Ruskin. So just to dive into a little bit on Ruskin.com here, uh, some of the things that you're going to be able to see are uh, case studies, and that's something that we're going to be expanding greatly in the coming months. Uh, product data, you can obviously uh, uh, access submittal sheets there to uh, uh, to, to find the right uh, the right product for the uh, for the right application, uh, CSI specifications are located there along with literature, uh, news on new products. Uh, you can also access Revit models, and as you can see in the in the picture centered here at the top, uh, we have icons there for the various social media outlets that we participate in. So, the program um, is a really awesome program to have, like a like a. Peter said he talks about selection. It allows you to compare products. You can compare products by stationary, operable um, combination. You can do wind-driven rain. You can work through the through face area velocities. Um, you can have your airflow of CFM. You can set it to very specific pressure drops. If you have some sort of fan that wants to burn up at 0 0.30 inches of water gauge, you can set that, as you can see in that screen there, in the input information. All it has links, you have to click on the model name and it will open up the product page. So if you click on that, on that screen here where it says L375D, you click on it, that page will pop up. You can sort by different criteria. You can click on pressure drop. Now, I have done a full length um, webinar on this. I am more than happy to help anyone out to work their way through this. Please give me a call. I have a handle on the pressure drops and I have a handle on this program so we will work through and be able to help you pump out the information over there. Also there's mouse over notes. You can click, obviously I can't show you within this presentation, but on the mouse over notes you can hover over various areas of that and it will give you information. So this is a very awesome tool. Uh, you can also build a schedule. If you look up here, it says performance and selection. Sizing is the green one right now, but you can go over there and you can build a schedule to give to your customer. This is primarily for our mechanical customers, 
but you could tell them a 48 by 48 at, at 5,000 CFM at 1.1 inches of water gauge. This is all information that you can come out and give it an Excel spreadsheet. One of the things that I wanted to include in this presentation is uh, I wanted to acknowledge that uh, uh, the project management group, uh, which works uh, works in my in my department, is managed by Jim Smarto. So, what what is the value of project management? Well, when you have projects that are that are complex or larger projects, it's good to have an individual that helps shepherd that project uh, through the system and is able to manage that to make sure that. There are no hiccups in uh, in delivering the product. We have three outstanding project managers: uh, Greg Prowell, Monica O'Neill, and uh, and uh, um, Andrew Zeus. Andrew Zeus, I <laughs> Andrew Zeus, and uh, they all do a fantastic job of uh, of managing uh, uh, managing these larger projects through the system. So I wanted to include that because I think that they're kind of the unseen heroes at times that uh, that are able to. Uh, break loose these projects and, and keep them on schedule. And of course, keeping projects on schedule, that keeps costs down. So uh, I wanted to give a shout out to our project managers. So this here is a uh, picture and uh, shame on me for not updating it because we have two uh, new individuals that uh, that joined our, uh, our Louvre sales team. I'm going to start uh, top left. Uh, top left, that handsome man in the blue shirt there is uh, Warren Thomas, uh, uh, sales application engineer. Uh, to Warren's right is John Knowles. John is our inside sales lead. Many of you have probably talked to John. John has been with the company for over 20 years, very knowledgeable uh, guy. Uh, to the right of John is Andrew Zeus. Shame on me for forgetting that guy's name. Uh, Andrew's a great guy. He joined the company uh, late last year, and uh, he's just uh, he's a go-getter. He's a he's a great guy, and he's uh, he manages uh, manages some of our larger projects. Uh, the big galoot to his right there is is myself in the red sweater, uh, Peter Bleha. To my right is uh, Greg Powell. Greg is another one of our project uh, managers. Uh, Greg's been with the company for a number of years. Uh, to his right is uh, is uh, Tom Bartels. Tom has been with the company over 20 years. Uh, very knowledgeable. I'm sure many of you have probably spoken with with Tom on on uh, on uh, one or more occasions. Uh, row on the bottom there to the left. That is Jim Smarto. Jim is our leader, the uh, director of the architectural department. Uh, Jim has been with the company for over 20 years and. Uh, uh, you know, he's my boss. He's also been a mentor to me as well. So, uh, you know, that's my suck up there for, for Jim in case he happens to hear this uh, webinar. Uh, to Jim's right is uh, Tiffany Wright. Uh, Tiffany has been with the company for uh, six years. Uh, Tiffany is a, um, she's an applications specialist, senior application specialist, excuse me. And uh, Tiffany uh, handles a lot of the uh, customer service issues too. A lot of the people, a lot of you people have probably spoken uh, with Tiffany uh, in regards to uh, questions about your orders. To Tiffany's right is Shelby Titus. Uh, Shelby is uh, one of our takeoff uh, people, so she handles our, uh, our takeoffs. She was recently promoted that position last year. Uh, to her right is Monica O'Neill. That's our third uh, project manager. Uh, to her right is uh, Marcella Barracol. Marcella is a um, applications engineer. She joined Ruskin uh, last, uh, I think it was last August, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, she's uh, she's up and coming, learning a lot about uh, Ruskin and uh, and our products. And to her right is uh, Catherine Muldron, and Catherine is our second uh, takeoff specialist. Uh, missing from this picture, and again, I probably should have done a second picture, is uh, Cindy Clements, and Cindy uh, uh, joined our, uh, our group recently. Cindy's been with the company for a long time but uh, recently moved up into the uh, uh, Louvre, uh, Louvre group and is uh, learning about product. And then last but not least, Jennifer Reed. Uh, Jennifer Reed is uh, also a, uh, a new associate with uh, the Louvre sales team that's, uh, that's been, uh, been a great, uh, great asset and has been able to pick up a lot very, very quickly. So I thought including the slide was good because it kind of puts names with faces. You might have talked to many of us on the phone at one time or another, but it's good to see that we're, we're actually people. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to stress the, the point that you, know, you have a lot of experience in this group 
and we are dedicated to working with you, solving your issues, and uh, meeting your expectations. So this is the, a summary page for any of you that have been multitasking through this webinar. Um, I'll start off at the top here. Now Ruskin has a five-year warranty for all products. Uh, it's the best in the industry. A uh, question came up, someone asking if, uh, if the warranty applies to other companies under the Johnson Controls umbrella, such as York. I don't believe that is so. I think the five-year warranty is uh, exclusive to Ruskin, although they might have a warranty similar, but the, the warranty applies to, uh, uh, to Ruskin. Something I wanted to add here is to make sure that uh, it has also been asked that also applies to our anodizing options as well. So it used to be a one year and then it became five and three year. It's just that it also covers that all products across the board. So that includes our anodized finishes on the products. Of course, what's excluded is our superior warranties on our painted finishes, which are going to be for 20 years. Uh, the second point here, uh, the summary, is you want to look for the AMCA CRP markings on louvers you specify. Um, I can't emphasize that enough because, as Warren alluded to earlier in the presentation, uh, there are companies out there that will use language such as tested in accordance to, um, you know, and they'll, they'll have that illusion of being an AMCA uh, tested product. But AMCA really is the, the, uh, the standard for, for testing, validating, and authenticating a louver's performance. So you always want to look for that AMCA CRP marking, especially when it comes to uh, performance louvers. Uh, Ruskin now has eight louver models that are certified for TDI, Texas Department of Insurance. I'm sure that those of you that are listening uh, in the Longhorn State are probably saying yeehaw to that one. Um, we're excited about that, and we're planning on adding more models to, uh, to the Texas Department of Insurance listing as well. Um, the EME 720 gives you a best-in-class free area for a 7-inch louver at 56%. The recessed mullion gives you a continuous sight line, and then the AMCA certified wind-driven rain protection makes this a very special product. I'm going to turn it over to Warren here to talk about a few of the other bullets with the EME 3625 DFL and the EME 520V. Again, that uh, what's most important from the EME 3625 DFL, it's going to be 540, and it's going to be 550 compliant. It's also going to be Dade County. Um, and that, that's okay, but then you throw in the fact that it's a 3-inch deep product, and that makes it what's a deal breaker because no one else in the industry has a 3-inch deep product. It's 540, 550, Miami-Dade. It's going to have AMCA certification for wind-driven rain. It's also going to be listed for 540 and 550. It's going to have the same free area as the standard EME 3625. The EME 520V, it it's a little bit thinner model than the uh, EME 6625, a little bit bigger than the 3625. It, felt, it fit a niche product and it's turned into something that is something that all people can use. You just get outstanding wind-driven rain performance on the 3-inch rainfall and the 8-inch rainfall. It does have 43%, which is slightly less than the EME 520DD, but it is well within line of our other wind-driven rain vertical products. Other resources we have, of course, like we talked about, Ruskin.com. That's a very important place because you're going to get all of our product data sheets. You're going to get all of our CSI specifications, any case studies, any type of information. It's also going to have a link to our VIP net for our customers and reps. So if you need to do a change order, need to check on a status, that is very important. Um, I'm not always available. I try to be, but I'm not always available. So you guys at home, at your computer, can look it up real quick. You don't necessarily have to depend on Warren, Tiffany, or Tom, or someone else to look that up for you when you can look it up on your own. Uh, we have the Edge program for, uh, for pricing our products. That's a great tool to use. Um, we also have the social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. Um, I expect Ruskin Louver Department to greatly expand its offerings in that category of YouTube in the very near future. You can already see some information about some of our products, do a bit of a testimonial, a minute testimonial about individual products. You can also see anything to our, like an installation video for our XP500. Um, we have wonderful staff on site that are experienced, they're dedicated, uh, they have lots of project management project management experience. It's come a long ways from people trying to manage a project to now people. We do have people who have dedicated um, degrees and learn and uh, education based upon managing your product project to make sure from from 
cradle to grave that it tries we try to move it along as smoothly as possible and move on along from the project manager we have a dedicated staff with many years of experience to help and serve you guys and help make a more um, successful project for you so now we're coming to the second uh, question and instead of doing a, uh, uh, a question with uh, with uh, choices here I wanted to make this question more open-ended so Ruskin has over 130 louver models and when you get to when you get to the point where you're developing that many models you want to be a little bit more tactical in in the next uh, the next uh, louver that you develop so what I want to point out to you all is that you as our customers have a huge influence in the uh, in the types of little products that we develop and we listen to that very carefully as a matter of fact uh, several of the products that you saw the the newer products were the result of, uh, of, of requests from from our reps from engineers and uh, from architects so um, as we start to put together our product roadmap for the future um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to open the open this up to uh, specific selections uh, of, of the types of projects or products that you would like to see us uh, develop. So the question we have very specifically here is what type of louver would you like to see Ruskin develop next? Now an example answer could be a 5 inch wind driven rain louver that is AMCA 540, 550 listed for instance. The more specific that we can get rather than just to say you know another wind driven rain louver or another uh, sight screen you know, the more specific we can get, the more we can really look at that and create a business case for it and then start the development process. And I think what you're going to see is that as we move forward, you're going to see a lot of new products, uh, especially uh, in the uh, in the damper area, in the air handling area, and, uh, and in louvers coming out uh, through Ruskin. So um, I'd like to I'd like to open this up and give you all a chance to uh, uh, type in your answers. We're going to uh, we're going to collect that information, analyze it. Um, if you could also, if you have, uh, if you could leave a, maybe a contact number to it, because what I might want to do is I might want to call you up and and uh, ask you some uh, additional questions about uh, about your product needs. And to make sure that we say, please expand your chat window open so we can get the information and let us know what you are wanting because right now um, literally the I can I have personally been involved with three different products that a, a one of our reps has come to me and said this is beating me what can we do how can we solve it and as a can-do type of guy that I am let's develop this we can do this no but we can do this and then come up with a product and be able to sell it and I have we have done this to meet customer needs it's the way we develop products um, we do come up with stuff originally on our own but you know it all comes to it could be just a, you as a rep being in your territory and consistently getting beat on a specific product because there's something that the product has that we do not have okay so as you all are uh, uh, giving us your uh, your wish list of, uh, of, of products for us to develop uh, one thing I'd like to point out to you is uh, for those of you that uh, attended AHR in Las Vegas uh, last year, and uh, AHR 2018 is going to be in uh, Chicago, Illinois this year, a windy city uh, from January 22nd through the 24th. And uh, we already have our booth uh, uh, booked for that. Uh, for those of you that attended it, uh, you'll recognize the the picture on the right was uh, was our was our booth for Ruskin. You were able to meet many of the people that uh, that develop uh, and sell Ruskin products. Um, we also had a fantastic social event uh, there as well, and we got a lot we got an opportunity to meet a lot of you face to face. So uh, the point in the slide is that it's not it's never too early to start to think about uh, attending AHR, um, and it's never too late to uh, to register for it. So. Uh, registration you can find at uh, at ahrexpo.com, and uh, we hope to see uh, we hope to see many of you, uh, or at least, or actually all of you, if possible, in uh, in uh, in Chi Town this uh, this January.
The other thing I wanted to show is that uh, we have uh, upcoming webinars, and I wanted to uh, uh, make you aware of that. So every second Wednesday of every month at 2.30 Central Time, we host a webinar. So on August 9th, we have uh, critical environment dampers. On September 13th, we're going to be doing uh, automatic balancing dampers. Uh, on October 11th, we're back to the architectural side doing a webinar on sunshades. And then on November 8th, we have scheduled a uh, life safety webinar. And you can register for these webinars at www.ruskin.com backslash webinars. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out is that when we talk about doing these webinars, like Warren mentioned that he, he does a, uh, a leads webinar, and he does a fantastic job at it, I might add. This is not something you have to wait for. So if you want to do a webinar that's not scheduled for your group, we can do that for you. So you can either contact Warren directly or on this last slide that's going to be coming up, uh, I believe it's going to be my, uh, my contact information, which will leave up there for a while. If you want to do a webinar on specifics such as Miami-Dade uh, or uh, Florida Building Code, you want to talk about other aspects of louvers, we have beginning uh, to intermediate uh, modules that we can uh, go over with you as well. We also have AIA uh, accredited presentations as well. So um, we, have a, we have a wide variety and we can actually custom make a presentation for you. Um, we can either do this you know, live where we actually come out to your uh, office and give it to you face to face or we can do it uh, as a webinar. So lots of options there for you but our goal is to is to educate and form and to uh, you know and, and I think most importantly develop a relationship with you all because I think that's what's really important when it comes to uh, dealing with a manufacturer such as Ruskin. Uh, the fact that you know you, you have relationships with these companies you know you can there's many choices out there but uh, we really pride ourselves as being uh, the market leader for uh, for air movement and uh, and being the company that uh, is the easiest to do business with. So this is the slide with my uh, contact information on it. So uh, on there is the uh, is my direct number, including my cell. Uh, if you prefer to email me, you can email me at peter.bleha at ruskin.com. Uh, again, I welcome I welcome interaction with people. Um, you know whether it's suggestions on products, whether it's making uh, making recommendations, whether it's talking about doing a, a site visit or uh, or setting up a webinar. So you know the the great team that you saw in an earlier slide for the Louver sales team, they're all very dedicated to uh, to uh, to helping you succeed. Uh, we consider ourselves uh, your partner in this uh, in this effort. So. Please reach out to us, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this webinar. Uh, we're going to take a look at some of these questions here that you uh, sent us about the uh, about Louver development for the future. And I want to thank you so much for your time, uh, taking time out of your busy day. And uh, I want to uh, wish you a great, uh, great Wednesday.